Audio 11. Juan Obispo Lookout. Before enjoying this stop, we want to warn you to be extra careful and not to approach the edges of the viewpoint, as they are unstable. Juan Obispo Lookout is a unique vantage point. It allows us to see two types of landscape that have characterized Bardenas since days long gone by. On one side, the tabular landscape where El Rayon and La Raya, to our right, and Pisquera in front are the highest points. On the other side, the rain-fed agricultural landscape, as well as the natural vegetation in the military zone. Leaving behind the legends that tell of the existence of great forests, the potential vegetation of Bardenas, that is, the maximum level of vegetation that would exist if human influence were to cease, would not be at the forest level. The most we could expect would be tall bushes or other smaller-sized vegetation. The military zone contains a first phase of this potential vegetation, the Ontinar Cisayar, a type of sisal plant, occupies a large part of the land there. At the same time, we cannot forget that successive fires over the centuries, logging and firewood harvesting, charcoal production, harvesting straw for the manufacture of pulp, along with other uses now discontinued, have all had their impact on the vegetation. From our viewpoint, we can see the majority of the plant species that are found in this nature park. These are clumps of tamarisk, for example, in the ponds that we can see at the base of Juan Obispo Hill. Thyme and rosemary bushes, which form a mosaic with lasten on the small hills around the gazebo and inside the military zone where there is open scrub, where the ontina and sisal usually dominate. These are the darker and grayer patches. Grasslands. These are the harder grasses that form yellower patches than the others. Vegetation found in salt marshes and ponds. And finally, the agrarian landscape, 